always talks about him. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. And I'm doing a live playthrough this time because this upcoming stage sucks balls. Not the good kind of balls, not the balls of fire, but just regular sweaty, hairy balls. This stage is Operation Sledgehammer. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, thanks. A nice shower. Oh. Morning, Mr. Dexter. Oh, there he is. Morning to you. Well, well, well. Where's my boy? <laughs> oh, way too late for that. <laughs> Where is my boy, you son of a bitch? Skin is gross. Girl over there, everybody's so fond of. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Forgot about her. My scientists tell me that this is what revs her up. Look at her now. Look at that Spanish what guitar playing. Kid, no. Mr. Dexter, fuck off! You running here, Clive? <laughs> Hell, Jesus yeah, right. Christ. That's Mrs. Cooper. Sick fuck. You killed my boy, didn't you? Look, man, just tell him what he wants to know. Accidents happen in this jail all the time. Hey, Mr. Dexter, come on. You go on about your business. I'll take care of this guy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of us real good, huh? My boy, back, Clive. I ain't let you down yet. Have I have I? to go out in the desert. Go on. Yeah. It's gonna be you and me now. Oh, gross. Oh, he's beating us up some more. Whew. Operation Sledgehammer. Oh, God. We're in a bad spot now, aren't we? What's the matter? What are you moving around for? You got ants in your pants or something? Oh, he wants to break free, huh? I, I I gotta be honest, I don't really uh I don't really see what's holding you there. I don't see any ropes or anything. And I don't see anything that's actually holding you in the chair. I mean he could just easily just stand up. Huh. Well let's 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 try to break free. What the What? Oh come on. I mean, Batman had a hard time doing that in uh, Arkham City. 47 is just like, eh, whatever. Now, let's see what's in here. Ugh, all these flashing screens, it kind of brings you back to Manhunt. Okay. What the f- Why is this place so filthy? Hmm. Man. This guy sure uh, likes his newspaper clippings, huh? Hmm. All right, let's get this show started, and then we walk back here and pretend to be tied up again. Only this time, 47's a lot less uh, jumpy, I guess, because he knows he's out. Although he's shaking his head a lot, and I guess he's still got some cobwebs from all that ass kicking he got. God damn it! It's typical. Just typical. I'm on it. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Just turn around and there we go. Yeah, go to sleep. There you go. Take those, thank you, and I will take this, and I'm going to drag you to somewhere where you can sleep. Here we go. Just going to dump him in here. Pretty standard fare. There you go. All right, let's see here. Oh, there's a metal pipe. Never know. Wow. 
This place really is a, a pigsty. I mean, look look at all these alcohol bottles just lying around. Oh, there's like a bed frame. Toilet paper? A perfectly good roll of toilet paper just sitting there. Hmm. Evidence. Wow, really, just a bag of evidence just laying on this dilapidated couch. That's nice. Although, I guess, uh... I guess when you think about it, these, these crooked cops don't really need evidence, right? Oh. There's someone crying in there. What the fuck? Why is there cardboard on the floor? I wonder if someone was, you know, like, breakdancing or something, right? You know. Yeah. Breakdancing. What the fuck? Hey. Hey. Buck up. Alright? Buck up. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll do. Thought I was just a sergeant. You look very happy. Probably had a session, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> anyway, I left the pistolas for you to pick up at the front desk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are beauts. Why are the voice Actually, actors uh, in the City of Hope so birthday. terrible? Ah, I don't yeah. understand. Ten years old. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, he's a big boy now. Gonna take after his pop. And you know what? Big boys, they require big guns. That's right. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand that at all. Is that like a sexual joke about your son? That's really weird. Anyway, your son isn't gonna have, uh those silver ballers and he's not gonna have a dad either <laughs> wow I just realized that um, okay so that's the main goal of this particular stage I also gotta get healed up here and why not activate checkpoint boom there we go uh, right so like I was saying the point of the stage is to get the silver ballers back I mean, well, this this particular area, and they're in the next room. Hold on a second. Every year at the Hope Fair, we have to haul your drunken ass in. I'm not drunk. I'm just festive. Please, <laughs> I can smell it from over here. So what is it this year? Defecating in the water fountain, interrupting the mayor's speech by publicly declaring to be Jesus. Nah, just a bit of the old drunk driving. Fire, yeah. Merle. We took away your license months All right, ago. so actually, that voice actor is not too bad, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying I could do better, obviously. I wanted to see if he would hum again, but I guess he was done humming. We don't have to bother hiding this body. Just fucking leave him there. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah. There's a bunch of really nasty, uh, buds? What? What are you talking about? What do you mean, buds? Lisa. Jenny, Nicole. All of them victims. Although, this article down here says something about Chicago. I'm not sure why uh, the Hope City Police are investigating something that happened in Chicago, but hey. Alright. I don't normally complain, but it's every there we go. Episode, kept me up all night. And it's right before fair day, too. I'm trying to win a goldfish. Those are Dexter Industry Trucks. <laughs> I want to file a formal complaint. Trying to win a goldfish. Anyway. They can take another road. Sorry, Dustin, but you got to take it up with City Hall. They're the ones greenlighting the convoys. I wouldn't hold my breath, though. You know Dexter Industries employs half a hope, so they get a lot of leeway. All right, there's other people to talk to, but who gives a fuck? I will not talk to. Listen to, I guess. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Over your town. Huh? Who the fuck are you? This is my fucking town. 
Let him know we're serious. Ow! Oh, don't shoot me! I'm the sheriff! <laughs> So here's where the fun ends. Ugh. So, um, this series of stages coming up is basically these guys. And, uh, hold on a second. Command, things are being thrown by some joker. We'll look into it. Over. There's no way to, uh, there's no, like, clever way to sneak around. Hey. Oh him. shit. He's dug in. Fuck, that was close. Whoever is out there, we're letting them play head games with us. Then keep your eyes peeled and stick to formation. Safety's off. <sighs> that wasn't exactly how I intended things to go, but that's probably the best for this. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, awesome. You didn't see me. Nice. Although I really wanted a uh, one of their outfits. Now they're over there looking at dead bodies. Oh boy. Should I just try to shoot my way through? Oh. Move out! We got tangos in the area! I'm Oscar Meyer Wiener. Or is it Oscar Mike? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played Call of Duty. And, you know, speaking of Call of Duty, I, uh... I got Black Ops 2 when it came out. Paid the extra money for the DLC. I haven't downloaded any of it. Because I stopped playing the game on multiplayer after only, like, three weeks. And, uh... And you know what? I just... I saw the trailer for Call of Duty Ghosts, and, uh... Understood. The longer this goes on, the more vulnerable we are. Seriously, dude? You can't let whoever's out there have the initiative. We'll be like sitting ducks. Something I'd like to avoid. Affirmative. Let's do it right this time. What are you douchebags talking about? What's going on over there? Hey, follow me! Proceeding to the next sector. Please fucking... Ah, uh, goddammit. This game is not fun! Hold on a second. Oh. You know what? I think I'm going to restart this and jump ahead a little bit, and I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to wait for this guy to turn around here. There we go. Climb. Crawl down here and throw this pipe over there. What? Oh. Check it out. Really? Come Fuck on, you. Sir. Okay. So this guy is going to walk over here. Hiya! Like a ninja. Alright. And now, we are disguised as an agency person. Now, all we have to do is climb up here, and we can avoid a lot of guards and avoid using our instinct. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? Nice. You know, who, who needs who needs interesting gameplay and well-written characters when uh when you have explosions, right? Right. And there are a lot of explosions in the stage, a lot of set pieces. Blockades are in place here and here. We have sentinels positioned on every corner and sniper nests here, here, and on every rooftop overlooking town square. I don't care how good this guy's supposed to be. Unless he's got wings, he couldn't have got far. Just waiting for this guy to turn around here. I don't know what he's looking for. <sighs> Heart beating. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Just gonna walk over this way. Thing about this stage, uh... 
Because it's really frustrating. At least I think it's. Oh, me, God damn it! You there? Excuse me. Hey. Uh. Sir, could you come over here for a second? Uh, actually, you know, I'm really busy. I have to. Uh. The target. We're forced to take action if you don't stop right now. I'm pretty busy. I have to do something. Damn it! Fuck. The thing about this stage is that if you fuck up even a little bit, you're put into a firefight that, uh, it's really, really hard to win. Not only is it really hard to win, but, okay. Not only is it really hard to win, but it's very boring to watch. <laughs> so I'm going to try my luck here. Oh, goddamn. And see if, uh, I can win. And if I win, I'll I'll cut ahead. And if I don't win, I'll just cut out everything and try again. It's one of the things about doing a live playthrough is that uh shit. This isn't good. What a surprise. Right, so this level's not fun at all in my opinion. Blockades are in place here and here. A big part of it is on every corner and well, actually here, here, and on every rooftop overlooking town square. This time let's try good this guy's supposed to be. going to Unless the right wings, here. He couldn't have got Why far. not? I think I had... Please, sir, behave in an orderly... Oh, there's more explosions going on. Guy, too cute. Almost. You know what really strikes me as odd is that, um... Better find the target quick. Someone... Some of these guys, when you use your instinct, they kind of like suggest that maybe they're gonna try to rape 47 because he's cute or something? I don't understand that. I mean, they're professional super soldiers. They're not in prison. Why would they do that? I don't, I don't get it. But... Oh, there we go. Nice. Got through that piece of shit level. Men's shoes. Okay. Alright. Everything's on fire. Everything's very intense. Let's just run. Oh! Whoa! That's a lot of boom. A lot of boom. Alright, so, uh. Damn, everything's really loud. I barely hear, hear myself speak here. Some more bullshit sneaking around. Alright. more to say about the level, but there really isn't. Um, you know, it's very boring, I guess. was close. I kind of wonder, are they burning down this place because they think they're gonna, you know, root out 47, or are they doing it because they're incompetent? Hey, buddy, you alright? Hell yeah. What? <laughs> what? 
Hell yeah! <laughs> I, I, do you do you like uh, inhaling? Hey man, this is a public area. Save the creek mode for window peeping, brother. What the fuck is your problem? I was just trying to check on you to see how you were. Ah, inconsiderate motherfucker. Ugh. You know, you, you try to show some some human empathy and decent consideration for people, and they just shit all over you. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, right, so here comes a very difficult section, a very shitty section, a very unfun section. And I'm going to try two ways. I'm going to try shooting my way through, and if that fails, I'm going to try sneaking through. We'll see which one works. Either way, I'm going to be doing some extensive editing. Setting up shop at 45 degrees southwest. Over. Roger that, Rabbit. Get position. We'll flush out the target. Over. I'm going to kill this douchebag. There we go. And I'm going to change into his outfit, just because. There we go. Where are they gathering them to? Oh no. Ah! Oh, what? Th they made them disappear! Oh my god. What's that woman doing up on top of that building? That's weird. I mean, I, I could understand why the soldier man would be up there, but I don't understand why... Uh... You know, why the Albert, lady would be up status? there. Alright, so... I'm going to try to do a shootout thing first, and what I like to do is I like to set up some booby traps. There we go. So that way, when they try to flank my position, they'll run into these mines. There are four of them available to us. I'm going to drop this one here. And by the way, you can drop objects in the game by pressing the G key if you're playing on the PC. And whoops. Oh, man, we still have disturbances. I'll do a sweep. Out. Let's try out the sniper rifle. Boom. Say cheese, motherfucker. And uh, there are a lot of enemies in this particular game. This particular stage, I should say. Um, another thing they, to note about <laughs> to note about the enemies, the agency enemies, is that they actually uh, they're actually more skilled at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and because of that, um, it actually takes longer to take them out. Um, huh? It takes longer to take them out with unarmed combat. How did I miss? Nice. So, uh... Okay, another thing I noticed is that these uh, heavily armored guys seem to have, like, heartbeat sensors or something. Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked here. <laughs> getting the shit kicked out of me. And I can't leave because of these damn mines. I didn't place them so well, did I? Hold on a second. Look at the size of that goddamn pumpkin! <laughs> hey, it was empty. That's weird. Huh. 
Looks like they all gave up or something. It's not looking too good. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again. Um, I have a really hard time finishing this level. Sir, stop that now. Maybe if I'm quick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Sir, stop that now. Stop telling me what to do. Yep, barely got any instinct left. Okay. How about if I just throw mine in the middle of here? What? Well, go check it out. Come on. Nice. Nice. I think this is going to get us through. Nice. All right. Not exactly, uh, not exactly super duper stealth tactics, but at least it got us through that shitty section. Oh, there's Sheriff Skirky. We got to get revenge on him. What? <laughs> he got back into his suit. I think it's kind of funny that they really expect us to, uh, they really expect us to, like, you know, sneak through the whole, the whole damn game with, uh, with the suit on, you know, as if 47, as if his trademark thing isn't changing outfits, but hey. So it looks like you got one target here. Very beaten up and bloody Sheriff Skirky. Kind of seems like 47's, uh. 47's, uh. You know. Number one goal would be to get the fuck out of town, not kill this douchebag, but hey. Hmm. Anything in here? No, I can't. I can't open the. Uh, can't open the trunk. All right, whatever. So uh, either church is closed or people just like to walk and hope, I guess. Well, let's go in there and see what's uh, going on. Oh, service. Why? What are you, a liberal? Are you okay, my, son? my god, give him right to carry a fucking gun. Fucking like move! You're a coward, Sheriff Skirky! I'm gonna shoot this, this son of a bitch! Oh, Go ahead, I don't care. Uh, I'll kill him. There. 
<laughs> Woo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> you know who you're talking to? Skirky! Skirky! Not jerky! Yeah! <laughs> Skirky! Not jerky! Skirky! Alright, so I fucked up on purpose because I thought it was funny. There we go. Boom! You're dead. What? I shot you in the face, dude. Uh, 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 please, I can't die in a church. What are you, a Last vampire? Time, where's Victoria? <laughs> yeah. Uh, go fuck yourself. Oh, this is like Dirty Harry. You know that scene in Dirty Harry where he steps on the guy's leg? And he gives up the position of the girl, but the girl's already dead. And, uh... Huh? Ave Maria! That was gross. Hey, where, where'd the body go? Where'd the body in the coffin go? There was a body in the coffin. What? What the fuck? Where did the body go? I don't understand. Huh. Alright. <sighs> Whatever. <clears throat> Operation Sledgehammer, indeed. Alright. Um. Ugh. I, w I didn't do so well that stage, did I? No, no, I did not. Uh, but honestly, I couldn't be bothered to play that level over and over again like I normally do. Because, uh, it's just too big of a pain in the ass. Um. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and record the next episode, which is really kind of a mini stage. Kind of like the desert where we killed, uh, what's-his-face there, Junior, Dexter Junior. And, uh, you're going to see that uh, later in the week, I think Wednesday or Thursday, whenever I get around to putting it up. So, until then, I'll see you next time. I'm Nick Meister, and that's all.